Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. So, um, this video will discuss the last part of chapter 4, okay, uh, where we're actually going to continue from uh, the previous video when we where we're going to talk about continuous uh, probability distribution, okay. In the previous video, we have discussed on the discrete, um, discrete, Uh, probability distribution okay where where it actually being uh, you are being introduced uh, into two um, um, discrete distribution that is binomial and also uh, geometric okay so you just need to remember okay the difference between uh, geometric and binomial geometric is usually we have fixed trial means that we know how many time uh, the experiment is being conducted and binomial is um, the probability of how many success or oh, based on the trial okay that is our px okay for geometric this is we have infinite trial okay and we are only interested on the x is defined as the first success okay of our trial okay so usually we will define what does it considered as a success in geomet geometric distribution okay so today we're going to continue our discussion on continuous distribution okay so for continuous distribution okay it actually is being represented by a bell uh, shaped graph like this okay where everything under the graph or under the shape is being considered as one okay Defined by M, M is the mean, okay, S is the standard deviation, okay. So, this is um, knowing the mean and standard deviation of the, um, of the, um, of the situation is very important on, uh, for continuous distribution, okay. And um, we can see that they will have different shapes of uh, standard, di uh, different shape of um, the, the different shape of bell shape. Okay, we can see that if our standard deviation increases, um, the the uh, the curve will flatten. Okay, and then it will spread more. Okay, uh, uh, more evenly. Okay, but if our s is increases, then we can have a higher uh, curve. Okay, compared to the uh, this one, compared to this one. Okay, if our s uh, if our s value is uh, increasing. Okay, so question. Okay, so does this two normal curve have the same mean? Okay, so if it's uh, if it uh, is it yes or no? Yes, it has the same mean. Okay, why? Because the mean both of the mean is situation here so this is the mean okay so that is the mean okay which normal curve has the standard deviation of three b okay b why it is being more flat out the standard deviation okay the standard deviation is uh, remember, standard deviation is looking how much does the uh, shape is being uh, flat or is being uh, how far does the, the the end of the bell shape to the mean of the uh, graph? Okay, so remember the higher the standard deviation value, it means that our shape will be more flattened. Okay. So, which shape has the normal standard deviation of 1? That is A. Alright. That is A. Why? Because the standard deviation, okay, the, the, uh, the, um, the, the, uh, the standard deviation from, uh, at the end of the graph, okay, with the mean is just, very small okay so the smaller the standard deviation means that your graph is more thin okay but it will it, it might have um, a higher value it really depends on that okay okay so we have different types of um, uh, standard deviation and parameter okay so for this one okay we can see that graph a and b okay a 
and B has the same mean. Okay, it has the same mean. Okay, it has the same mean. Okay, but uh, but it has different standard deviation values. Okay, so this one must which, uh, B B will have a smaller standard deviation value compared to A. Okay. A and C have the same standard deviation value because you see the spread the, the, the spread from the mean okay to the end of the graph okay is the same. So we can say that the uh, A and C have same standard deviation value okay but it has different mean okay because mean for C is somewhere here. Yeah, so this is how you look into the different uh, values of the parameter okay between uh, different graph okay so what is the notation so how we're we going to represent the standard deviation and the mean value in 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 x okay and what we want to get investigate okay so you always be n okay so the first value uh, uh, from the bracket is the mean the second value is the standard deviation okay so we can say that this is the mean is 40 the standard deviation is 1 so we can say that graph the first graph will have a very thin graph okay the second one the standard deviation is 10 okay where it has a more uh, value but the standard deviation uh, the mean is 10 the standard deviation is 5 so that means that it's it, it might the graph might have been flat a little bit okay so this one we might have a very tall graph okay and the last one the standard deviation is uh, the mean is 50 but the standard deviation is 3 so you will have uh, something that is in between okay all the three graph okay and the situation of the mean is different okay so if you look the first graph will the mean will be at 40 the second graph the mean will be at 10 Okay, and then the last graph, the mean will be at fifty. So the the situation of the graph will be different of each uh, of each other. Okay, maybe we can assume that it's like this. Uh, this is, uh, oh, it's only ten. Sorry, to redraw this. It does not look logic at all, actually. Okay, so the second one will be more like this but it's five okay and the last one will maybe it will look like this sorry something like that okay so it will, it will create you a different situation a different position of the graph itself okay so how do we calculate or how do how can we get the uh, probability density function okay so this is the formula so don't worry much about this uh, we are not going to use this formula okay so this is just to show you how we can get um, the, the probability that uh, how we get the probability density function okay so please um, change the uh, I mean uh, the, the slides uh, the, uh, the the formula that is not it does not appear so for this one you should use the sigma and this one is mean okay the sigma and the mean itself okay so make sure you just fix that in your slides okay okay um, as we seen just now how we do the calculate how do we um, calculate our probability for normal distribution is by using the normal curve okay so normal normal curve means it's like this okay and usually uh, each side of the each side the standard deviation side okay will always be the same okay the value for each side it will be the same okay and the mean is always in the middle so when you have this then we can say that we have a normal distribution graph okay so um, how do we um, I mean you will get when you do your experiment you will get different 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 values of mean and standard deviation okay just like this one okay you have different values of mean and standard deviation okay and then you have different types of graph okay if you really drew it using the values of the mean and standard deviation okay but in order for us to identify the probability we need to standardize okay the value of mean and the standard deviation okay so a normal distribution is where we have our normal value of mean at zero okay and our standard deviation as one okay so this is the standardized normal distribution okay so how can we get this 
um, um, for this we will always use the notation of z okay z okay the z curve we call this as a z curve where it will represent the normal the standardized normal curve of um, our data okay so we will need to uh, represent our values okay into the normal distribution the standardized normal distribution uh, curve okay or the z curve okay so you need to you need to uh, for normal distribution we always use the letter z to represent okay if you find if you see any problem that give you the z value okay uh, so that's mean that we are talking about the normal distribution graph okay so um any usually for this the value that we wanted to investigate is any values that is under the curve okay so that means that we wanted to find what is the probability if we have a value any values that falls under c and d okay so how do we calculate it so this is how we define our normal distribution probability okay uh, so for this one uh, we will um, uh, uh, as I mentioned just now, okay, this is what I mentioned just now. We, you can get any many different values for our um, for your mean and your standard deviation, okay. So like this one, okay. So this is the mean, okay, for the different graphs. So and then the standard deviation, okay. So we have three standard deviation values here, okay. But the standard deviation for A and C, okay, for the red and the purple one, uh, is the same. Okay, so there's there's a lot of numbers that you can use, but, but okay, we for us to identify what are the probability, we need to standardize it. Okay, so it will have its own table. Okay, it will have its own table. So to make it easier, what we do is we need to change a normal distribution. Okay, where you have any numbers as your mean and also your standard deviation into what we call as a standardized normal distribution graph. Okay, where the mean will always be zero. Okay, and the standard deviation will always be one. So how can we do this? This is how we identify the value okay so this is the uh, value that we wanted to investigate this is the mean okay and this is the standard uh, deviation value okay usually it's been given okay okay so doing this you need to refer what we call as a z distribution table okay so if you go into the e-learning i have uploaded one folder uh, where you can find the z uh, table okay you can find in the triola uh, card um, okay so you need to see okay even if you look into the internet there are different types of uh, z table so there are two different types of table okay one is what we call as a full z table the second one is what we call as a half z table full z table is where we're going to calculate the probability of starting from the very left area of the graph means that all the values, all the probability values that is shown in the graph, okay, is being calculated from the beginning of the graph. Okay. That is a full z, uh, z table, okay. Half z table is where the probability values is being calculated starting from the middle of the graph, starting from the mean zero, mean zero, okay. Starting from the mean equal zero values, okay. So the z probability here is for, for half table is usually from the the, 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 the the middle of the graph okay it, do, it does not start from the the first okay unlike full z uh, full z table okay if you ask me which one is much better it really up to you some people would prefer to use full table some people would prefer to use half table but you make sure you need to make sure that you understand and you, you can read from both table okay and you can do calculation from uh, referring to both table you need to make sure of that okay okay for full z distribution table there are two different ways to represent okay we have to we have one uh, where we get the positive value okay so usually the positive value okay is representing from the first until the end okay the second one is the negative value actually the 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 the, the, the negative value here is actually a flip of this table okay a flip of the uh, the, the upper table okay meaning that for the z okay here it actually is calculating from the right side okay if you look into into one one graph 
Okay, so the negative value is actually calculating from, calculating from this part. But okay, but we do not say that it's we do not say that we are looking from here because for Z table, okay, for the full Z table, it it is always starting from the beginning of the graph. Okay, so when we flip it through, it will become from starting from the left to the Z values that we want. Okay, so that's why the values here are negative values. Okay, so for Z table, usually you can get negative values. Okay, compared to uh, half Z table. Okay, so if you have negative value, okay, it, it will be in the table. So you need to assume that it's actually on the, the other side of uh, the, the full Z table itself. Okay, so for an example, okay, we wanted to know what is the probability if we have a value uh, when we have x value of 6.2, okay, and we are being given the mean as 5 and the standard deviation is 10, okay. So, we know that our mean is 5 and our standard deviation is 10. So, now we know that the mean, mean means that the, it, it is in the middle of the graph. So, the mean here is 5. We wanted to know what is the value. So, we know that 6.5 is situated here. So, we just wanted to know what is the probability of having this. Okay. So, before we can get to the probability values, okay, the first thing that you should do is, the step 1 is to find the Z value. How we, can, how we find the Z value is by using this formula. Okay, so x is the value that we wanted to find, 6.2. Mean, mu is the mean, divided by the standard deviation 10. So you get 0 0.12. Okay, so that means that when you change from a normal distribution table to a standardized no, a normal distribution graph, okay, 6.2 is equal 0 0.12. Okay, if we, if when you change it into a standardized normal, normalization. So this is the first step. We, we need to get this value. We need to get the standardized normal distribu distribution value from the values that we have earlier. Okay, so the second step is to refer to your Z table. Okay, so now we know that we need to identify the table here. Okay, so having, okay, if you are going to use the z the full z table value okay as i mentioned before this full z table value will always give you value from starting point until here so if you look into your table 0 0.1 0 0.1 to 0, uh, 0 0.1 okay this is the left uh, the, the 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 left side here okay left side here okay is the first value and the upper side okay is the second value so you you get the value of 0 0.5 0 0.572 okay which 0 0.572 is actually let me redraw my graph 0 0.572 is actually this is 0 0.1 right 0 0.12 so 0 0.574 is actually here the whole value from the beginning okay but now we are not interested in the whole value but we just wanted to get the value from 5 to 0 0.12 that is only here so to get that value you need to minus 0 0.5 so you get 0 0.0478 okay 0 0.5478 the minus 0 0.5 you get 0 0.0478 so that is the probability of 0 0.12 okay so this is if you use full table if you are using half table so half table is much uh, easier you just need to find the value the z value that is 0 0.1 and 0 0.0 0 0.02 okay so you get the value so you just get the value so this value is the same as this value okay we have the same value, you will get the same answer. Okay, but if you use full Z table, you need to make sure that you need to minus the mean value first. Okay, because uh, 0 0.5. Okay, because we are not interested in the uh, in the, the in, in the 
in the next side of the table. Okay, in the, sorry, in the next in in the uh, in the left side of the uh, this, of the graph. Okay, so this is one example. So another example. What is the probability if for values that is more or less three um, uh, that is more or equal three point eight but less or equal five? Okay, so we know. Okay, our mean. Okay, just now remember this is referring to the first question. Okay, the standard the mean is five. The standard deviation is ten. So even though it asks uh, the p value is zero point at uh, uh, three point eight, so that's mean that we are interested in the values on the left side of the uh, of the uh, of the graph. Okay, so since just now our mean is five, so we are only interested in this part of the graph. Okay, the previous one the previous one is on the right side of the graph, but this time we are more interested on the left side of the graph. Okay, so when you change your value. Okay, with the formula x is 3.8, 3.8, okay, minus 5, okay, 5 is the mean, okay, divide by the standard deviation 10, you get negative 0 0.12. So, in this case, you need to look at the negative part of the z table, if you're using full z table, okay, if you're using full z table, you need to find it on the negative side, okay, and it is the same, okay, we are only interested in this part, Okay, but the full Z table are actually giving us the value from the start until here. So, okay, so you need to get the value first of 0, uh, of 0 0.12 that is here. That is this part here. Okay, uh, so you get the value of 0 0.4522. Uh, Okay, but since we are only interested on this part, so we minus it from 0 0.5, okay, until uh, 0. Point, oh, sorry, I think this is this is wrong, okay. Actually, what we need to do is your value here is from here to here. Sorry, the 0 0.0.12, 0 0.12, the value that you look from the uh, from the z table is the value here. Okay, the value here. Okay, so you get 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.4522, okay. But since we are interested on the value, okay, from here to here, so we need to minus uh, the, 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 the mean value that is 0 0.5 with 0 0.4522, which is the value here, okay, and then we'll get the probability of the shaded area. Okay, 0 0.0478, okay, which is here on this part. Alright, okay, so if you use half Z table, okay, then uh, the same. You just need for half Z table, we can just ignore the, uh, I mean the, the, the half Z table, uh, it does not have any negative value. So you just use the 0 0.12, okay, so you get 0 0.1. And 0 0.02, so you get the value. Okay, so you just get the value. So if you're using half Z table, you can just get the value. Okay, but if you're using Z table, then you need to do some uh, some calculation. Okay, based on the uh, based on the mean. Okay, of the uh, of the graph itself. Okay, so another example. Okay, we wanted to know what is the mean, uh, what is the probability if we have x. Um, x uh, less than 7.1 less or equals 7.1 and but it is greater than 2.9 okay so you need to find it okay so the first thing that you need to know okay so now we are looking into both area of the graph of the half graph all right so we get the value it has the same uh, the same um, the same z value that is uh, only that uh, the the first part here okay is a negative 0 0.21 so this part here is uh, 2.1 okay so it has the same uh, oh sorry not 2.1 sorry this is also 0 0.21 okay 0 0.21 okay so so that is the when you convert from 7.5 okay uh, when we use the standardized normal distribution so the z value okay so for 7.1 is uh, 2.1 0 0.21 uh, the the standardized value for z for 2.9 is negative 
zero point two one. Okay, so now how do we get? How are we going to calculate the, uh, the, the, um, uh, the probability? Okay, so we need to do it well. So if you are using Z table, the full Z table, okay. So you need to do it for both sides, okay. So the first side is. Uh, for the negative side, so you need to look for the negative values. Okay, so it's z uh, negative 0 0.21. Okay, you have this value. So remember, again, okay, the value that you get from the negative value is from here to here. Okay, and you we, we know that the, the, the value for our mean here is 0 0.5. Okay, but we are only interested in this part. Okay, so that is why we might uh, we we to get this value, we need to minus the mean value that is uh, the the uh, the 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 probability of the mean. Okay, the pro is, this is zero. This is the probability of the mean. Okay, mean is zero, but the probability of the mean is zero point five. Why zero point five? Because remember, standard deviation, okay, from start to finish here is one. Is one okay, and mean is always the middle, so that's why mean the probability for one side is zero point five, and then this is the probability on the other side. So that's why we always use we always minus, uh, we always use zero point five. So if it's on the left side, so we need to minus the probability from here to here that is zero point five, okay, minus the z value that we got just now. Uh, 0 0.4168 so we get the value of 0 0.0833 okay so this is for one side okay and for the other side again because we have the same probability number so 0 0.21 okay okay so again for this one since we are since the value that we get is from here to here Okay, where the value is 0 0.5832. Okay, so we need to minus because we are only interested. So now we only need to find this value here. Okay, so that's why we minus it with 0 0.5. Then we get 0 0.0832. Okay, and the probability value for both is you need to add it up. You need to add it up 0 from this is from the left side. This is from the right side, so we get the probability of 0 0.1664, okay? That is if you're using full table. Using half table, since we always, since we get the same value, okay, since we get the same Z value, that is 0 0.21, 0 0.21, okay? So automatically, we will get 0 0.0832, 0 .0 but you need to make sure since we are looking into both left and right, okay, from the graph. So you need to make sure that you times 2 or you plus 2. So you get the same answer, 0 0.1664. Okay, so, if it, so it is very important for you to draw this graph first. This graph will not be given to you. You will only be given this, okay, in exam. So you need to make sure the first thing that you should do before even you, 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 you do the Z value, Okay, is you need to draw the graph first so you can have an idea where does the probability curve that you wanted to calculate. Okay, so you need to remember that. Okay, draw the graph first, then you calculate the z value, then you look into the table. Refer to the table. Okay, either full table or half table is up to you. It's up to what table that you can get in hand. All right. So the next question is if we have p. Okay, uh, if uh, the, what is the probability if we have x more than 8, equal or more than 8? Okay, so first, as I mentioned, more than 8 means that, okay, when you draw the graph, you know that uh, the mean is 5, okay, is more than, it says that p is more than 8, so it's always from here to here. Okay, this part. Okay, so that part. So, so you know that that is the, that is the probability that you need to find. Okay, so what is the probability? What is the standardized value for for the one that for x that we want to, to find out? Just now we know that we have z, the z value itself. Okay, so the z value using the formula is uh, eight minus five. This is the mean. This is the standard deviation is zero point three. Okay, so looking into the zero point three. Okay, zero point three. 
Okay, again, remember, the values that we have, okay, when you refer, if you're using fools at table, okay, if you're using fools at table, okay, the values that you will get from the table is from here to here. Okay, from the left side, okay, from the starting point until the Z value, the 0 0.3, okay, maybe I should use this one. Okay, so the probability that you get here, the probability values that you get here is representing from, is representing this curve, okay, but we don't want that curve. We only want, because the, 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 the question says that if X is more or uh, is more than 8, so we only want this part. So how can we get this? We know that the value, the standard deviation value for the whole curve is 1. So what we will, what you will do, you minus one, okay, that is the standard deviation, uh, that is the standard deviation of the whole curve, minus from here to here, the one that we find, this part here, so then you will get this value. So it will become 0 0.3821, okay, so that is if you are using Z table. If you are using half table, instead of using one, as your value that you want to uh, minus, okay, with the values that you have, okay, so you see here the values is also different. The value here is 0 0.11, uh, the, the Z value for 0 0.3, okay, is 0 0.1178, okay. So for half table, then you need to minus with 0 0.5. Why 0 0.5? Let me show, just let me wrap it first. Because remember, half table is always value from half so value so for the probability value from the mean to the end of the to the end of the the the, the graph distribution is 0 0.5 okay remember i mentioned just now this is 0 0.5 0 0.5 the whole value here is one half value 0 0.5 Okay, so if you are using half table, then you need to minus from 0 0.5 minus the value that you get from the table and you get 0 0.3821. So it's the same. The answer will always be the same if you're using full table or Z table. Okay, it really depends on how. Okay, so another one is we wanted to find another example uh, where both value is on the right side, okay, where P is, uh, where X, we wanted to find the probability where X is more than 7.1 but less than 8, okay. So for this, again, okay, the first thing that you should do, again, I mentioned, the first thing that you should do is you make sure you have your, your graph first, okay, so you know. So now you know that what you wanted to find out is here, okay, this one, okay, it's between 7.1 to 8, Okay, so the next second step that you need to do is to find the Z value for both. Okay, so the, f the, the Z value for 7.1 is 0 0.21. The Z value for, uh, for 8 is 0 0.30. Okay, so looking into your, um, looking into the uh, table, okay, you'll find that the probability for 0 0.21, okay, is 0 0.083. 2 okay where that one is actually being represented if you are using let me see this one if you are using full table uh 0. Uh, this is using let me see is this using full table or i think this one is using full table right 0.8 can you, can you check, okay, whether this is a full table or half table later, okay? So maybe later in the discussion, we can we can also discuss this, okay? But you understand that these are the values, okay? So now, oh, this is using half table. Sorry, I know it because it's mentioned here, okay? So this is using half table. So when it's using half table, you know that the first value for 0 0.8 is, uh, for sorry, for 0, uh, 0 0.3 is this value. Okay, and then for 2.1 is this value, but since we are only interested on this part, okay, so you should minus uh, the probability for 0 0.3 to the probability of uh, 0 0.21. So you get three, 0 0.0347, okay, which is this value, the one in the yellow zone. 
the one in the yellow zone only okay this value only okay because we are only interested okay so this one is this is using half table okay not full table if you if you're using full table okay so you can just uh, use so you need to minus the value from here is the same one okay and the value from here so you will also get this answer okay maybe you can try to see if you're using full table uh, what are the value what are the probability values okay so we can discuss this in class okay now this is this type of question we 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 want you to find the probability for the x value but you might also be asked to find what is the z value based on a given probability okay based on a given probability okay so now uh, so how can you do uh, how can you do that is by looking from okay for 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 uh, previously what we what we've done is we know the probability we know the um, we know the z value and we look for the probability okay but for in this case okay we have the probability okay if you're using half table let me go to the half table first you know the half table that uh, you know the value since okay since remember the the probability that we wanted to ask is uh, that we wanted to get is on this side of the table okay so you know using so using half value uh, half table then just just look just try to find where is the what is the z value from the table okay so the z value uh, look into the probability this is being given the probability you look into here you look in this part previously if you're looking in if you are looking for the probability we will start looking from the side okay the, the side to the top value but now you we wanted to find the the z value itself okay just let me remove this okay so you need to find what is the probability value okay so 0 0.1217 it should shows like this so 0 0.1217 is the z value is 0 0.31 Okay, 0 0.31 okay if you're using half value then you can just get the answer okay but if you're using the full table okay now we know that we need we have we only interested on this part so you know that the values that is being given okay the value that is being given is only on this part okay so we wanted to find what are the uh, the 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 probability values that we need to find okay so when we are doing that then you need to get the 0 0.5 okay this is the value from here to here 0 0.5 the half table okay plus the value from here to here of the half table so you get 0 0.6217 so look into the half into the full table of 0. Uh, 6217 and it's the same you will get the, the z value as 0 0.31 okay so using any table you will get the same values all right okay so this is another way uh, another example on finding the x value from a known distribution okay so what is since now okay this is only getting what is the uh, distribution distribution value okay we only get this value but what we want okay remember this table is giving us the standardized uh, the standardized value okay so you know now from the table itself it is 0 0.31 but we wanted to get the x value so how can we do that is actually just by using the uh, z uh, formula okay but we need to uh, turn it on the other way around but for now we know what is the mean what is the mean okay plus the z value times um, times the um, standard deviation so we know that the mean value is 5 the z value here is 0 0.31 and this is the standard deviation value so the x value that we wanted to find is 8.1 so this value is 8.1 okay just reverse back the main formula the z value formulas that we had just now okay then you'll get that value all right so to make sure i think it's much better if you try the exercise first 
for you to really understand how it is your flow. So we have exercise 5 and exercise 6 for you to try out. Okay, So you need to try these two exercises and we will discuss this in our online class later. Okay, So that's it for chapter 4 on introduction uh, to probability where we have learned on what is probability uh, itself okay and then we also discuss on the random variables for the probability and on the last part here uh, we also discuss on the discrete uh, probability uh, distribution and uh, for this video is on continuous uh, probability distribution okay so do the exercise and we will discuss the exercise during our uh, online class okay so thank you everyone i'll see you in the next chapter